The New York Giants waived cornerback Janoris Jenkins two days after he made an inappropriate remark on Twitter. On Wednesday, Jenkins called a fan, quote, a retard, end quote, who was critical of his play. Jenkins did apologize, but later said the usage of the word was slang and just a part of my culture. Giants coach Pat Shermer said in a statement today that Jenkins' refusal to admit what he did was wrong led to his dismissal. Max. Yeah. What's your reaction to this? I mean, I thought what was I thought an appropriate uh, response from the Giants would have been it's politically incorrect to use that it used to be a medical classification, but it became uh, perceived as derogatory and it's politically incorrect to do that. Yes. And it's insult and you're also insulting the fan, you're representing the Giants organization. Go do some community work in a in a hospital that specializes in helping or a place that specializes in in helping people with um, with, who, you know, who are challenged in that way. Um, at, at any rate, I thought that would be a report, appropriate. They, they cut him. They cut him. And um, normally you'd say, boy, that shows you signs that there's a good culture there. But actually, the fact that he refused to stand down tells me that this whole thing is a sign that there's a bad culture there. And, and um, that whole, like, can kind of reflexively conservative New York football giants uh, uh, mentality that Gettleman is supposed to represent, we haven't seen that reflected in the team, really. And it starts at the top, Gettleman, Shermer, why is he so happy to leave? Let me piggyback off of what you're saying and take this to another level. We're sitting here, we just heard about it. We don't cover the Giants, so we don't know. This is just my opinion, obviously. I think the Giants are lying, and I'm going to tell you why. He did initially apologize because he recognized that it was insensitive. So why would he make a big deal out of it now? Think about it for a second here. You used an inappropriate, apolitical, correct word, okay? Folks make mistakes all the time. We're human beings. He's a human being. Okay, you apologize. It was for a fan that was, you know, jabbing at you. You reacted inappropriately. Who would have a problem with apologizing it for it, especially since he initially did? Somewhere along the way, what are you talking about if you're Pat Shermer? Jenkins' refusal to admit he was wrong. If he apologized, what was the, what was the conversation about? What conversation? Think about that for a second. You spoke inappropriately, off the cuff, reacting to a fan. Why do you need to have further conversation about it with the coach unless it's about something more than that? The reality of the situation is clear. What Jenkins, in my opinion, probably had a problem with is who the hell are you to lecture me? It, it to me, it was an excuse to have that kind of confrontation. Jenkins clearly doesn't have much respect because I promise you, if it was Bill Belichick or somebody else that said, let's move past this, apologize and move on. I don't think, you know, we've met him. He's been on this show a couple of times. Jack Rabbit. He, no. I, he does not strike me as the kind of person that would have a problem with saying, look, man, I shouldn't have used that word. I apologize. That's that. He doesn't strike me as that person. So to me, it's more about his problem with Shermer. It's more about his problem with the Giants than it is about this incident. And why would he have a problem with them? Could it be because you lost nine straight? Could it be because you're two and 11? Could it be because you absolutely positively stink as an organization right now? Your GM's on his way out the door. He should be. The coach damn sure is on his way out the door. Okay. Some of the decisions that have been made, some of the bodies that have gone out the door, the trading of Odell Beckham Jr., which wasn't a popular move by a lot of those players with inside that locker room, et cetera, et cetera. You see some of the things that have transpired within the Giants organization. And what you're saying is, wait a minute. The word was inappropriate. All right, I apologize for that. But beyond that, I'm supposed to take lectures from you well, and, and also as, it may as just an organization. Be, it may That's just what be I a good excuse to get rid of a player right. that they want to get rid of. That's what They're I'm moving saying. players that's out the door they think are bad for the culture, but yes. maybe they want to look at themselves in terms of the culture that's being set, yes. the front office and the coach, because the players don't seem happy. Like good, like, and and you why can, should they be? And you can point to Odell and say, well, he also doesn't appear to be that happy in Cleveland. You could also mm -hmm. say, why should he be? Maybe that's one of the reasons he got moved to mm -hmm. Cleveland, right? right? 
But, but it's more than just, just this idea. Any malcontent or anyone mm -hmm. that doesn't fit into these square pegs, mm -hmm. we're going to ship out. And they identified what seems to be a talented quarterback, and they have a great running back. But it's more than that. You also got to start winning games but at Max, some point. But Max, here's the funny part, right? They speak about a culture as if somehow, some way, they're a gold standard, and they're so far removed from that. And here's the thing. This organization, in terms of that gold standard, was built upon the shoulders of one Lawrence Taylor, okay? Bill Belichick was on that NFL 100 thing, and I love this story, and he was talking about how, you know, Lawrence Taylor, we, you know, had this, uh, you know, practice, and, you know, LT, we, we started about five minutes late, and because LT showed up about five, six minutes late, he went to Bill Parcells and told him that. He said, Bill Parcells looked at me and he said, why didn't you start practice six minutes late? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's LT. That's, yeah. that's LT. You yeah. see what I'm saying? What I'm saying to you is this. The standard that the Giants pretend to live by, that doesn't, that, that doesn't embody what your franchise was about. You had some rough riders. You had Carl Banks. You had Harry Carson. You had LT in the crew. You had cats that could ball that showed up and took your heart and did what they needed to do when they won football games. The Giants be, appear to be more interested in winning headlines and making sure that their culture isn't compromised in whatever way they deem unnecessary or unfavoring to them, as opposed to prioritizing doing what's best for the team to win football games. And you got cats like him that said, I don't want to be. He probably wanted They're to get cut. Everyone, gets, probably wanted to get everyone cut. gets tired of losing after a while. The team has been losing and losing and losing season after season. They're tired of it. And, and, and Gettleman especially, and also Sherman, he brings in the coach who's had no success at the head coaching level. And, and like at a certain point, you can say, well, it takes time to establish a culture, and you'll see there's a long-term plan piece by piece. But I notice that other teams that rebuild, they don't go through this many years of stinking on ice. Like this, the team is awful, and players don't want to be there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.